Good morning. Uh, God bless you today, Monday the 23rd of March and the first of this week's messages. Just a reminder that uh, uh, front page of our website, chatsworthbaptist.org, uh, we've put down some really helpful links, all on the front page, trying to keep everything on the front page. Uh, so if you want some advice from the NHS, the link is there, or some practical advice about being self-isolated from the uh, British Association of Counselors and Psychotherapists. There's a link on there. Psalms, we're going to add some prayers and things like that. Chatsworthbaptist.org.uk So thinking this morning about uh, God so loved the world and you think, well, John 3.16, that's a great verse, isn't it? And uh, it's an often repeated verse. But it's interesting to think about it in relation to where we are now because how do we respond to where we are? We, we can't complain about the coronavirus in some respects because it's here, it's happening. But how do we respond? And I think about when God looks at the world and God says, I, God so loves the world. When the world went its own way, when we chose to go our own way, when all we like sheep have gone astray, how did God respond? And God responds by saying, here's my son, I'm sending my son. For God so loved the world that he sent his son. Actually, that was God's response to what was going on. So we know that God loves us and that's why he sent his son in response to the way the world is. Well, the way the world was and still is in some respects. And then if we know that, if we know God loves us, that he gave his son for us how do we now respond to this situation peter writes in uh, 1 peter um, uh, verse 6 for a little while uh, you may have to suffer in all kinds of trials i we're going to have to respond uh, to the way to where we are to what's going on in the world and this is how our faith is at work because peter goes on to say that you know that we those who have come so that your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may be proved genuine and may result in praise, glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. You do not see him, but you love him. And this is how we choose to respond in this situation. It's interesting, the verse, isn't it, on the board behind me that's, that went up before all this uh, really happened. In many respects, that verse is a response a response to who Jesus is and what he's done. If you can't read it, it says, Jesus said, a new command I give you, love one another, from John's, John's Gospel. This is our response then. How are we going to respond to this situation? It's not so much that the, the situation is here, that the coronavirus is here, COVID-19, self-isolation. It's how are we going to respond? Here's a prayer uh, to close us today. We thank you that you are a generous God, compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. Thank you that you are a generous God, for you so love the world that you gave us your only son. Thank you that you are a generous God, that you invite all to come to you, and you will give us rest, for your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Amen. God bless you today.